Only on 7, the search for hundreds of missing ballots in the Detroit postal system. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Detroit City Clerk Janice Winfrey launched an investigation after 7 Action News contacted her about the problem last week. There are 500 documented voters who requested absentee ballots that never arrived. But we know the clerk's office sent them out, so where are they? And tonight is our Jim Kirchner reports. This happened in several postal centers in northwest Detroit. The clerk tells us several zip codes are involved in this investigation. How many zip codes are we talking about? How many ballots are we talking about? Oh, a lot. Um, so we had about, I'm going to say 500. The clerk says that's based on the number of voters who have followed up and contacted her office, saying they requested an absentee ballot and didn't get it. The process is the lost ballot in the mail has to be spoiled. We'll uh, uh, have them sign an affidavit saying that they're going to spoil the ballot that's somewhere in the mail, and then we issue them another ballot right there that they can vote right there in the vote center. Detroit postal officials declined an interview for this report. Get this, the clerk says she was told they went through several post offices in Northwest Detroit to find the missing ballots and they could not. 500 missing ballots went somewhere. They swept the entire building and they didn't see, they could, they did not find anything out of the ordinary. In fact, in other words, they didn't find any stacks of ballots that weren't being processed in mail. And we're talking 500 of about nearly 200,000 that were mailed out. All voters statewide are now being told, don't use the mail, vote in person or hand deliver your ballot. And they're hearing it. I tell all my friends and church people, watch that news and see what's going on because we're not going to put it in a box and it doesn't get there on time. Detroit has 30 drop boxes and 23 voting centers that are open every day. The clerk urges people to use those with their absentee ballots and any requests for these coming in now, she says, will be sent out via overnight mail. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Gotta hope people are listening. Thank you, Jim.